mentioned it, right? Um, and the next aspect is, is, you know, not, again, this is not journalist fault as much as a, a weakness um, in American news media, right? Um, there is a large lack of journalists who have medical expertise, right? Most, you know, if you work for a small newspaper, you, maybe you don't have anybody who's an expert in medical issues. If you're the New York Times or a bigger kind of newspaper, you might have a couple, but you know, news, newspapers don't, and especially TV networks, they, you know, they don't deal with medical issues all the time. So they generally don't hire full-time people to full-time experts, right? Who are trained in medicine and also trained in journalism, right? Uh, there are people who do this, but you know, um, CNN, Sanjay Gupta is always on CNN. He must be working 16 hours a day talking about this all day long, right? Because he's one of the few people who can actually do this, right? And so we have to think of the reasons why. Why are there a lack of, of a lot of journalists with the medical expertise or, medis or, or, or people with medical expertise who become journalists, right? Um, one is the, the size of the number of journalists in newsrooms is decreasing. Right, for, for various reasons, which I can't get into. There's not a lot of you know, profit for, for, for news organizations anymore. They have to reduce the number of staff. And then they, why would they have a, so many journalists with, this, with a specialization in something? Why would you have a medical journalist when maybe he, he or she will just write one story a week or something? You want to have journalists who are very general and then no matter what happens, they can cover it, right? Um, and increasingly for this, um, especially for covering Donald Trump and things like that, they have uh, political reporters are, are becoming involved where they don't, you know, they can learn like the rest of us have kind of learned all the medical terminology and things like that. They can kind of learn about it, but that's not their training. They're, they're, they're not doctors. So it's harder for them to, to report as accurately as someone like Sanjay Gupta would would because he's brilliant. Yeah. Um, and again, like I said before, this is a quickly evolving situation with the novel virus and, and, the, and the experts don't always agree on things and you have some um, crazy, some medical, some people who claim that they're medical experts who say really crazy um, things that later on people debunk and people disprove. Uh, but you, they're so desperate because they don't have medical journalists, so you just invite experts on. People, oh, this person's been tweeting a lot. Let's invite them on our show, uh, or, or invite them to <clears throat> invite them on live TV to interview them. And then we kind of realize that they don't, they they don't really know what they're talking about, right? Uh, so that's the danger when you're just inviting random experts on um, instead of having your own your own um, beat with medical journalists. Uh, so in the future, I think a lot of news outlets are going to consider hiring, uh, you know, spending more money to hire these, these kinds of journalists that we need, because especially in the next couple of years, this is, this is still going to be an issue. Uh, and we need people who have this kind of expertise uh, informing us about it. Um, and, <laughs> and the last thing,